now it's time for the body. And it's a lot easier than you think it is. For example, boom. See, it divides by four. And you follow along with the reference art, see? Yeah, let's begin. All right, let's begin. We'll zoom all the way out. Don't know what I'm clicking, down left. Shift A, or just go up to here to add, and let's go to add a circle. And click this, let's do a 20. Go to object mode, then edit mode. Right there, then hold down control, no, alt, then I'm in a mouse button, it snaps, see? Make sure you have this selected right here and you have this selected right here, all right? G, Z, hold down control to kind of snap it. Let's do around there. Then after that dot and then on a numpad. Let's see, just zoom in, S to scale, put it, let's do the neck first. S, about right there, then E, then about right there. It's not even from both sides, what is a huge headache. Some references, a lot of people don't know how to draw references. I know, it's pain. So we kind of mix them both together. So we just ignore this and go off of more of this. All right, then E again, Z, then S. Then this is gonna be, after that, click all this, this half, X, vortex. Press A, this is the side we have. We could add a mirror modifier. Go to the bench, right here, right here, add modifier, mirror. After that, click this box, then this one up here, then just make it, minimize it. All right, now what we do is gonna be mirrored. See, what is fantastic. Okay, S, Z, zero. But we still need to be at the angle, S, Y. We're not gonna exactly follow this 100% because way off the begin with. And let's we'll click this up here, make sure it's a donut and hold down Z to just go in different views. Scroll it down, about right there, about right there. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it does help. And this thing right here, this is 100% in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. This is gonna be um, where the arm starts. So we want this to be like that. This is important. After that, just click this off, we go to E, right click, let go, then S to scale a little bit, then go down, then Alt S. Now I should do S, and it crinkles right here so we can spread it out some. S to scale, about right there, then turn on the donut thing, kind of, yeah, move it out of place. Oh, this is way off. So we'll click this whole thing, click this off. S, Y, and just bring it down about there. Then just do C, then middle mouse button. So you just get, you don't want that one. If we do want that one a little bit, then just click this. Put this around here. Not that, bring back this. Kind of pushes into place. All right. Now we're going to do, click this again. We could do. Another one, Let's see once we scale this, put down. Okay, E, right click, click go, and S, then Alt S, kind of bring it out uh, right there ish. Then right click, smooth vortex about there. Then this is where the chest is roughly going to be. So just kind of, yeah. Now put it into place. And this is where the arm's gonna be. So this needs to be about right here. See up here? Mm, let's see about, oh yeah, okay. Click this and move this out. Then click it, then move it down like that. All right. Click here, hold down shift, this, then this, then this, then F. 
All right, then control R, add a loop cut in the middle, then boom, right click, let go. All right, then S to scale. It's gonna be like the bottom of it. And this is gonna be kind of a mixture because this is starting to connect. We don't want too aggressive though. So kind of want these to be more up here. I uh, want this to be back of the shoulder. But we still want it to start. Maybe we do want it more. But dang, there's a huge chest. The children can be fed well. Let's see. So this is the back, and this is the chest for how much it pokes out. I'm going to kind of follow it. It's a little bit too much in. If you look from this point of view, a little bit overboard. That's it. Okay. Serious. GG, GG. Just kind of move into place. All right. Now we are going to add another thing. Do K, shift right here, then right here. Then right here, go back right here, then hold down shift to snap, go right here, then this over here, then go back, hold on shift, then click this, then enter. All right, it worked that time. It doesn't always work. Okay. So click these, right click, smooth vortex. All right, now let's spread these out a bit because it's PG, actually just move it about right there. About right there. And yeah, we can add more stuff later, so don't freak out about it right now. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Let's see. Make sure everything's kind of GG to kind of have it all spaced out. We don't want it too clumped together. We're going to fix this later, though. All right, and click this, then E, about right there. S to scale, Z, zero. All right, then right click, go to uh, loop tools. If you don't have loop tools selected, go right here. Preferences, go to add-ons, type right here. Loop, then click this. All right, All right. see, so zoom in right there. And right click, circle. All right, should do that. If it glitches out, don't worry about it. Move it by hand if you want to. All right. Then move it about right there. E, S to scale. I click circle again. Alt S. S Y. S Z zero. Let's put it about. Oh yeah, we have this natural curve. What's going on here? Let's put it about right there. We do have this aggressive curve right here. This this. Avatar has a really aggressive curve. So we can add another loop cover right here. Control R. And after that, click, uh, let's see this. S Y. Push it about right there. S Y. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, because we're good to modify it some more later. All right, do that natural curve. E again. Now we're ready to make the uh, underwear line. See Alt S about right there. All right, S, Y, and bring it in. We don't want to start with the rear yet, because we're going to make a swimsuit line. All right, click this, 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 F. Do Control R in the middle, right here. Then this is going to be the crotch area, so we can move it right here. Just kind of bring it in. And this is going to be the swimsuit line. So let's start making the swimsuit. Of course, it's not equal from both sides. Okay, not the whole thing, just roughly. All right, let's add another loop cut right here. Control R. Then we're going to click this, 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 then this. Right click, smooth vortex. Is that too much? It's not too bad. All right. Then E, put it right here, let go. Click this, this, M at center. All right, 
Okay. This M at center. All right, then move these into place. Okay, now this is going to go way over here. All right, now we're going to... This is supposed to be kind of like... Um, like in the middle. So let's move this back down here. I'm giving powers to my doubt. <laughs> mm, about right there. All right, control R. Let's add another one right here. Alt S, that'll kind of push it up around here. Kind of bring this in, click this, right click, smooth vortex and kind of bring it out again. All right, this is supposed to be the rear to have it match. Okay, let's look around. It is forming. Let's see, I'm still discovering stuff. Put this around here. All right, see what looks good to you. We want this to be inside the middle. And after that, we can click this, Alt, click this, right click, and loop tools, circle. Let's see what that does. Sometimes I can wreck it. Hmm. Yeah, that works. We can smash around it with it later. Don't worry about it if it doesn't work. So, for example, if it goes through, just click this. Kind of make sure you do not want to go through as a scale if that happens to you. After that, E, then Z, move it down to right here. See, S to scale about right there. And let's add a modifier. See what we're doing. Click right here. And we're going to do a uh, subdivision surface. All right. And you see this? Like this in, then put this two, both of these into a one. And things are forming. It's not done yet. It's ugly as heck, I know. All right, let's click this and this, this, this. Right click, smooth vortex. About right there. Okay, smooth this. This is supposed to be the bottom. All right. S, Z, and push it down a little bit. Like all the way, S, Z is zero. And just push it down. It's supposed to be kind of like thin curve, I guess. So Alt S, about right there. S, Y, about right there. All right, then E again, down to here. S, Z, zero, click, then circle. And rotate on the Z axis, and then S, okay. Then E, then rotate, we go kind of like this interesting pattern, then E again, right there. And S, now this is way off, it looks weird. The, uh, the designer of the reference art didn't exactly follow through. S, X, then E, then Z, let's put about right here. Okay, right when the thickest part meets, about, so you don't want too much of a curve. S, right there. S, X, then E again, then Z, S, right click, circle. Rotate about right there on the Z axis. But to push it about right here, S Y. All right, now let's click back this again, and we see stuff is forming. The rear is hideous. We're going to fix it. All right, so this is going to be like center of the rear. Okay, smooth it out, and. Okay, GG. And these are going to go way in about right here. And just kind of grab these and just move them out. All 
All right, so let's click this, this, then this, then right here, then right here. Shift E. Let's go sharpen it. See, do need over here. Don't need over here. This, this, this. Make this small. And Shift E. Let's see. And just kind of bring it in. This Alt S. Let's see. We want. This one to be more inside the middle. See how that looks like. And I like that. Click this, this, shift, E, about right there. And a bring this about right here. Because these two are supposed to be the very center of it. See. All right, now we are going to exit, do tab, make sure in object mode, right click, smooth the vortex. It looks terrible, so go back in, click everything, Alt N, calculate outside. I right, remember to add the smooth modifier on. Get these. All right, now it's beginning to form. It's not done yet. Okay, let's do this, do this. Add another loop cover right here. Bring this back right here. Let's see. S Y. Bring out a little bit. Also, right click and smooth vortex to kind of smooth it out. And after that, we have stuff forming. All right. Now let's do this natural curve that goes along with it. That you see how it indents right there. rotate about like right there all right i don't want too aggressive but yes it is forming all right click this up here to see what we are at all right still need some work make sure this is at the beginning make sure this is inside the middle And click this off. This is supposed to be about right there. All right, this, this, bring it together, S, X, zero. Bring it about right there, click this. Move this more over here. Now, click this, stuff is forming. It is still weird looking now. All right, now it's forming. So if you have it more roundish off like this, 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 and click like this, then I click then smooth vortex. See, it starts to shape it more correctly. Go out, just want more of a natural thing going. Let's make this more down. This is supposed to be the swimsuit area line. A little high right now. GG. Do not want it poking out too much. All right, then add this. Yeah, I've minimized it, I don't need big. And yeah, it is forming. Is it perfect? Heck no. This, Shift E. We don't want that. All right, put the whole thing. A, Alt, N, then reset vectors. Then do Control E, clear down here. All right. And click this, 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 then this, then this. Make sure on edge select. Yeah, just select these again. Then shift, shift E, make sure it's on max and control E, mark sharp. So if you do that, click up here. It's hard to see this na natural crease right here. What is awesome. Is exactly what you want. Say so select here, then Alt E, mark sharp. See, just make sure it's all marked sharp. All right, see, stuff is forming. Need to bring these close together though. Bring this out. 
see we still want it to be more round this gg gg all right now gg up or just kind of move it up see what we get can't get this more natural curve if that's what you want exit out this is what we're getting and gg and gg we do not want a disaggressive, slow aggressive. That's what you want, though. All right, now it's forming. Go back. Click this again. Now I need to add more meat. Let's add Alt R. Add known right here. And click this and Alt S. All right there. Then do another one. Alt S. All right there. And just click this up here and just kind of bring everything out. So the wheel's about that big. All right, click this. We want to add another loop cut. So R right, right here and turn this back on. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect right now, but it should be good. Let's see, Alt S, click this off, S, Y, green it right there. Click these two. Like this. Then this right here. Okay, we want this to be around there. Doesn't have to be too perfect. It should be close. Okay. So click these ones. Morph it into shape. Do some morphing around. All right, then you click this and you look around. All right, it's looking weird. Click the whole thing. Alt N, reset victors. All right, see how that looks? It's looking really weird. Turn this off. Let's click these. See, so move them out. Kind of put it in right there, put them in, make sure they're even. Like this, do uh, GG, we don't want too high up. Alt S. Now after that, now we click on it. Click this again. And click this, this. Shift, E, make sure it's sharp. Control, E, mark seam. Mark sharp. Oh, dang it, turn it off. All right. And we can also go into scope mode, which is an awesome mode, goat mode. And for example, we could do this crease and just kind of drag it along right here. See, now it's forming, it's looking a lot better. This view is not looking good, so we click this. Here we go. Just kind of branch it out. Just exit out. Like this, this, this. Shift E. And Control E. Mark. Do sharp. After that, click this. It's looking a lot better. This avatar is not supposed to be overly complicated. It's supposed to be more simplistic. Like this. Then we can see. GG. GG. Needs to be more flushed out. Look up from here, Alt S. Kind of green it out if you want. Not too much, but a little bit. Just bring these ones up. And after I click this to see the view you get. Um, that's pretty much gonna work for me. Now if it's like too sharp, let's see who's bring these in. I think I like it that. And click this. And just kind of make sure this is kind of even with this. Even going in a little bit. All right. And yeah, that's working with this. It looks good. It take your time to make it look good. Um, I want to say polygon, so I don't want it too complicated. You can take your time to make it look better. But what we are going to do is right click, Alt, right click, then Z. Then Z, um, C, 
then click about right here, then right here, shifting at the X edge. Turn this off. So let's see, we're going to do A right here, then in the middle, then right here, then right here. Hold on, shift to snap right here, then enter. All right, what we did is got rid of this loop and it does this natural thing that kind of curves long and it looks better. See? Also click, let's click these, see what happens. Have that shift E, have that control E, mark sharp. And it looks worse. And try it again. Just depending on what you want. And if you mark sharp again, and have it go up a little bit, have natural crack if you want to. See how I did that? Let's see about right there. GG. Oh yeah, let's put these closer together. GG. GG. Have more space bar since we fixed it. See, make sure that you want them both equally all spaced out. See, and yeah, it's starting to take shape. Look around, depending on what you want for the character. And you can take, you can always make time, like tweak all these little cool things. You know, like bring this a closer or farther, for example, if you want. Bring these more closer. Let me see if this looks better. Bring this about right here. How it is, it's not really even with the crutch area, so it could look weird. So we may have to push this down some more. Let's see what we're getting. Click this and just go, you know, back and forth. I get about right there. All right. Chest. All right, click this. Before we do the chest, we have to do some more topology. Topology, topology. All right, and just make sure it's kind of moved out a little bit. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Okay, Alt, click this, then click this. Wait a minute. Let's click this first and just extrude it a little bit. E, I click, let go, and put it about right there. After that, then we click right here, and then right here. And then remember, Alt, Shift, and it clicks right here, then right here. Then after that, we could do Control. Alt B? Yeah, Alt B. About there. All right. So awesome. Click this. Let's do Alt Shift and keep clicking all around it. Makes it a whole thing. Right click, circle, and delete this. Uh, vortex. Then click right here again. Just kind of bring this in a little bit. What's Because we want this to be the muscle mass, for example. Going off of it, like right there. A smooth vortex. All right, let's bring it about where the shoulder is. Okay. Okay, click this. Then E, and put it about right there. S X zero S to scale. Click this and kind of bring it down, just kind of in it out because really big arms. It doesn't have to be perfect, but will it? All right, see how it's way off. Oh, we can't all get what we want. So just pick and follow a side. Let's see, let's do best of both worlds. Bring it out about right here. And like it's right here, cause that's what it is right here. About right there, S to scale, circle. All right, so that one's big, this one's small. All right, let's, E, 
to right click let go it's bringing it right here s to scale then e then s to scale then e again about right here s to scale all right and see now okay our reference is in the way so we could do a tab to get out like this uh make sure you go down to picture mode then let's click back and then just click all of them and do that back oh, wait a minute. see back is it back all right then go behind and click the whole thing and do back sorry right here back yeah all right then go right here then click right here then edit book. all right we're gonna finish with the arms and go to here and just add back smooth all right before we do that make sure it matches this one needs another one for the middle gg go right here and add another one right here another one right here all right um make sure do what looks good to you because the reference may lie to you s s z s z all right just like this circle and just make it circle-ish circle curve circle all right and if that looks good to you just make sure it follows your reference it's been a long time like this on your reference and not all references to be accurate that looks good to me so just a select go out all right now it's time for the chest i know what i said to do before but i'm gonna do it this time all right, select this. We can add another loop cut. Control R right here. And let's see, let's click these. Kind of put it into place. Ish. You know, you just have to pick a side. See how this side's good and that side's not. Kind of pick both. GG. All right, click this, this, sorry, this, this. Click right here, then push out a little bit to the this way. All right now, there's a gap. Then E, right click, click go. Then bring it together. Then click down here. Hold on, shift. Click right here. M at center. Click right here. Then click right here. M at center. All right, now we have to get this natural curve over here. Do the same thing over here. Click this, this. Then click this, then move a little bit this way. Then E, let go. Then press right here. Then click this, this, M at center. This, this, M at center. All right, now we start to get this natural, awesome flow. Now, if this is a male character, you can like stop right here. Just make sure it matches about right there. S to scale, kind of. That's not going to match it 100%. All right. And look at this. You can see how aggressive it is. I don't know if we want that aggressive. You can also follow a reference. You can click uh, go into sculpt mode and just kind of mess around. Do the bubble tool and just kind of give it some meat. Now, if I go back, let's see, could add another loop cut right here. What would that give us? Would that give us what we need. So click this, then this. Yeah, we could try another loop cut right here. Let's put one right here. So it goes all the way from both sides. Then 
alt s tiny bit kind of have it poking out not too much actually scratch that all right and cc kind of turn off those then let's do it a little bit yeah now we have some meat in the middle all right then select this 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 push it out some right here then right click circle and click this s to scale and bring it back and yeah after that x base we have this and just kind of gg you don't want it to spread out or do you it's up to you gg okay zoom out then go to add uv sphere we're going to click right here and we're going to add uh eight sorry my brain is on fire right here then right here after that uh let's click in the mirror then s and g then s and alt to put it right here then click right here x vortex and L and just kind of, you know, put it into place. About right there ish. So roughly that big. See, you just have to choose a side. So you kind of choose this side ish. So let's push it out. Oh yeah, go back scratch. All right. Now R Z. See. RZ, if we kind of want it, it is pushed out more. Let's see, RZ. And after that, it's R right here and kind of poke out a little bit. Remember, we want it to kind of go with here mostly. Let's see, there is a reference, but then there's also character itself. Then, um, tab to exit then right click then smooth then go back then alt click this then s so now make sure you have this selected let's select this and make sure you have this selected make sure it's not too big and now it's time to make some room for it because we do not have room and let's some right here this again gg we do not want it stretching too much trust me stretching too much is a bad thing let's see all right how are we going to do this l move it right there scratch that let's just do right here okay click this because this all right, click this, 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 F, this, this, F, F. All right, now we add the smoothly modifier. See, now we have something forming that looks weird as heck. I know, I know, we're not done yet. Okay, click this, X, this one. All right, now it's looking a lot better. It's not done yet. After that, we can select this. See, just G kind of bring it into place, twist it a little bit in some spots, and make sure it follows your reference. And also click over here, for example, and you just do what's C, right click, then smooth vortex. See, yeah, scratch that. We also need to match it over here. So I need to do S some more. It is quite get quite big. Those kids are gonna be fed well. Sorry, I can't stop making those jokes. Mostly men watch this channel. But then you start to just make room for it. So just move this down. GG. 
Anyway, we don't want it too far out. This is like what begins ish. Then GG. All right, and just kind of move everything along. Don't freak out. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't want it too uh, this way. So let's bring it down here some more. Yeah. See, now it's forming. And now I do this. And now we can go up to here, do this, and scoped mode. So right here looks a little weird, so we can add the bubble tool and add some meat. Right here. Let's see, it does look a little weird. Go back. We have some stretching going on. We do not want stretching. So what do I mean by stretching? Okay, S right here it means the polygons are stretching. It doesn't know where to go. GG. Click these. Smooth. What the heck? Smooth vortex. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. The chest might actually look better if we push it out some more. Or it just might look weird. All right, depends on what you want. Let's move this up more. Put all the reference right here. Click these two and move it down. See what that looks like. Push it in. Click these. Let's push it out a little bit. And push it in because you can see just follow the reference and just see if it even looks good cost to click this and this and right click circle this then circle and see how that looks like and rewind time if it doesn't look good I'm going to have it circle-ish. And it's too aggressive right here. I click smooth vortex. Bring it right there. Do some stretching going GG. All right, click these, click smooth, and depends on what you want, but that's looking fine for me. Now we can do the collarbone, but first, before we do the collarbone, let's click this, this, then this, then X, and right here, let's click this off, then K, right here, then right here, right here, then right here, hold on, shift, right here, then boom. All right, click this, circle. If it does that, just rotate on the Z axis and click it again. Then do it again. I usually like to do it toes like round. All right, do it right here now. See, not too bad. And you can click right here and then click this and kind of bring it out a little bit if it needs it. But first, add Luca right here, then we do that. And it looks good to you. I do a mixture of both like, like that. The reference is way off. So don't feel obligated to copy what I do. All right. Now, as far as a collarbone goes, there's several ways you can do it. Let me turn this off. Example, you see right here. So you can click this, this, then like this. And just do all S. So I click this on, see what that looks like. Do then shift E. That's one way to do it. Also, another way 
It's more destructive. But I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, click this. And GG, 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 then GG. All right. So we're going to do K. So like right here to right here, then enter. This is an aggressive way to do it. It does wreck the topology, but it can give you good results. Then Alt S, kind of bring it in, bring these close together. Put this up like that. Then click these, then Shift E all the way. Then see what it looks like, then click this. And now you start to have a collarbone. It's up, it's up to you though. This for it to be more aggressive. And after that, you can just take your time. Click this, Alt S. So many ways you can do it. You can do more. I don't really want more. I kind of want a gentle line. Let's go back to here, see what we get. All right, so select these and this and just do G Z. Bring it about right here. Then we have some right here. And we kind of bring it right there. And yeah, it matches the reference. Click this. Eh, and go back. Don't be afraid to follow the reference. See, I like it when it's more like that. Reference always lies. It's not accurate from all angles. Let's see. Like these. And this. And Alt S. I kind of want a gentle curve. Yeah, that, that works for me. And I believe that's everything. All right, let's do the stomach area. Let's zoom in right here on the numpad. Click this off and click this off so we know what we're doing. GG. Just GG. About right there. To kind of make everything kind of scattered out. All right. Click these. Then V. Let's put it right here. These, this, this. M. No. F, this, this, F, F. All right, and just to move along, GG. And what do control R at a loop cut right here? This is going a little bit. Move these in right here. Just right click, smooth a little bit. And select this. See what we are dealing with. Select this. All right, and you put this down more. All right, now it's time for the, the belly button if you want one. And select this. Depend how detailed you want it. Mine, I want it to be pretty simple. So, circle E, where I could let go, and right there. So you would select this. Let's make it really small. Kind of cover it in words if you want. Enough of that. Click here. And you can have it more in if you want. So it's like this. You can have it way in. It's up to you. Me, I just want more simple. Now I'll click this. See GG. Oh. S, all S. And select this and get the desires that you want. So we select right here. Click this. S to scale. About select more than that. We'll select these. Don't be a slave to your reference because often not your reference is not that good. Go back and forth. For me, I think I want a mixture of the both. Click this off. And let's move the rib, rib cage up some more.
All right. Then we have this natural line right here. Then let's do smooth. Like this. And it's forming. And let's fix the chest right now. Select this. Select this. Then this. And the grab tool. And we can just pull it over a bit. It makes it look a lot better. Make it look more full. Then let's go back. Let's select this. Then you can click this and get a view of what it looks like. So click right here, for example, and just turn this on. And for me, That's good. All right, now it's time for the elbows and knees. Let's do that. These. And a little bit too much in. So we could do this. R on the Z axis. A little bit this way. About right there. E. It's off. Go back before we even clicked on it. Right click, circle, let's do it halfway. And rotate it into place. And E again, right click, click, go. Let's do it right there. Then circle again. Let's do it. Let's do it half again. And Alt S. Then click this. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. You can select the whole thing and just go. Smooth vortex. I can help a lot in select the middle and Alt S. That would give it roundness and thickness, as you can see right there. And that's pretty much good enough for me. And we need to add more geometry like this. Alt B. Right there is good. Now select we'll like this. GG. Control B. About halfway. The problem is if you add more geometry, it can be a lot more harder to move it. So I would only add more geometry at the very end. And just click this off, see what it looks like. For me, that looks good. Now it's time for the elbows. It's already at a good angle. I want to be more down right here. Click this, right click, circle, do about halfway. See what we do and move it back. Then E again, move right here, right click, circle again, and Alt S. It's like this, and it's like this. Right click, smooth, smooth vortex. Rotate about right there. And let's see what we are doing with click this. S, not too much, just a little bit. Now let's select this and see what we're dealing with. That looks okay. It's up to you for how aggressive you want it. Let's have it, let's have it more up and just have it more that way. Usually this arm is longer. 
we look at references. It's up to you though. Never bow right there. And see sometimes a chest can be very surprisingly really hard to do. like this and that's about does it and it looks like our vectors got resetted so I would select the whole thing alt n reset vectors and after that then click this and now we have the smooth vectors back if that's what you want I would give it to these ones And E zero and Alt E clear. Yeah, it's up to you. That right, looks good to me. Yeah, we did it. The feet are next. And look, it's just modifiers. You do most of the math. The crew does most. Yeah. Tiptoes.